Thank you for coming along to ODI on this uh, otherwise pretty miserable afternoon. Hope we, we can uh, brighten up uh, the next couple of hours. Uh, my name is Chris Rolls. Um, I'm director of uh, Age International, which is the UK member of the Global Help Age Network. And uh, it's our pleasure to welcome you to this event and to thank ODI for its support in, uh, in hosting uh, today helping to make this happen. Uh, so it's the 13th of October, uh, the International Day for uh, Disaster Reduction. And the theme uh, for this year is uh, Resilience uh, for Life. So let me just explain how we're going to use the time we've got together. Um, I'll make some brief uh, introductory remarks. Um, I'll then introduce uh, the two speakers who you see uh, sitting with me here, um, after which there'll be some time for some comments uh, and some discussion and some questions. <coughs> uh, the International Day uh, encourages every citizen and government to take part in building more disaster resilient communities and nations. And this year's focus is on the needs of older people and also on the contribution of older people to better planning and understanding of disaster risks in their, in their communities. Age International, as part of the Help Age Network, uh, aims to raise awareness and understanding of these issues uh, with government and NGOs working in this area. And we're not alone in doing this. Events are taking place across the world today to recognise that people of all ages have a part to play in building resilience, uh, to prevent and respond to disasters, uh, and that people of all ages have needs that must be met in times of emergencies. So we know of major events that uh, for sure are happening uh, to mark today in South Africa, uh, in China, in Jamaica, and a range of activities happening in other countries, including Brazil, Haiti, Cambodia, Pakistan, Indonesia, Myanmar, Ethiopia, Morocco, Portugal, Vietnam, to name just a few. The theme for this year's International Day is especially important in the context of the massive demographic changes that are happening uh, in our world. Put simply, the world is ageing. That's a message that we don't often hear in discussions uh, about humanitarian relief and development, but it's a reality that's shaping every part of the globe. <coughs> you'll, you'll hear today how disaster as are affecting older people in both poorer and wealthier countries alike. For example, how 75% of those who died in Hurricane Katrina were over 60 years of age. And despite the fact that there'll be two billion older people by 2050, 80% of whom will live in developing countries, as they now are, uh, older people still aren't being properly recognised uh, as a vulnerable group. So today, Age International joins with HelpAge and the UN Office for Disaster Risk Reduction to ask governments and organisations across the world to adopt a new standard in building better resilience. Charter 14 for Older People in Disaster Risk Reduction. I think you have a copy uh, among the papers uh, on your chairs. This charter offers 14 actions that agencies can take to ensure disaster risk reduction is age inclusive. We hope you'll join us in getting it adopted by all stakeholders involved in disaster risk reduction work. So on our programme today, we have two uh, speakers. Sylvia Stefanoni is Director of Policy and Strategy for HelpAge International. And Tom Mitchell is Head of the Climate and Environment Programme here at ODI. Uh, we'll begin, though, by watching a short video uh, that describes the experience of older people responding to natural disasters in Bolivia. Then we'll hear from Sylvia, who will launch a new help page report. Again, I think you have copies uh, with you. Uh, disaster re resilience in an ageing world. And then Tom will provide a response putting this year's um, theme of resilience is for life in the broader context 
of disaster risk uh, reduction. As I say, after these presentations, we'll hopefully have plenty of time for uh, discussion and questions. Just a couple of practical comments. Uh, first of all, this event is being uh, live streamed on the OBDI website to a, a global audience. That makes uh, microphones important, both for the speakers and for also those of you making comments, so that uh, everyone participating can be uh, properly engaged in this event. Uh, and for any of you tweeters, um, please use the hashtag IDDR2014. Uh, we also promoted, or I say we, but people who have, have uh, better uh, knowledge of these things than me, but earlier today, uh, pr uh, promoted uh, IDDR2014 through Thunderclap, uh, a new social media tool through which uh, supporters sent a message on Twitter at the same time, I think at midday, uh, UK time today and we're pleased to say that we well exceeded our targets and through that uh, combined uh, effort an audience of 4.4 uh, million people was reached on social media earlier today with a message that we need age-inclusive disaster management to save lives. So let's begin then with the, the introductory uh, video. Thank you. In 2010, La Paz was hit by the worst disaster for years. A mega landslide caused serious damage to more than 1,700 homes. A total of 6,000 families were affected, including older people. <laughs> Estaba afectada yo con mi cuarto vacío, he llegado, recto al alojarme, entonces yo ya estaba deshecha, ya no sabía qué hacer. Tengo hijos, seis hijos, yo tengo señorita, pero resulta que todos tienen su hogar, su familia, se olvidan de uno. Entonces, en ese momento no había nadie, señorita. ¿Qué me diga? Aquí vete. Vaya, alojate, nadie. Solo la alcaldía ha venido a rescatar todas las cosas, a fin de que no se pierdan todo. Han trasladado la alcaldía, nomás es lo que ha caminado bastante con nosotros. Older people are particularly vulnerable in emergency situations. <coughs> As people get older, they experience a reduction in mobility and sensory capacities such as sight and hearing. This can place them at a major disadvantage when it comes to coping with a disaster. But despite their vulnerabilities, older people have knowledge and skills they can contribute to the development of disaster preparedness strategies and emergency response plans. In La Paz, HelpAge, Oxfam GB, the UNDP, Fundepco and the municipal government have been carrying out a project to provide older people with training and strengthen their skills and knowledge so that they will be better prepared to cope with emergency situations and recover from the adverse effects of disasters. This involves organising groups of older people called the White Brigades. Después del deslizamiento de Callapa, nos dimos cuenta de las debilidades, flaquezas que tenemos como gobierno municipal de La Paz y pudimos percatarnos que las poblaciones más vulnerables en estas situaciones son los niños y los adultos mayores. Es en este sentido que el personal ha sido capacitado en, eh, precisamente con las brigadas blancas para que ellos transmitan la forma en la que se debe organizar cuando tengamos situaciones de vulnerabilidad. Para nosotros es vital que un adulto mayor sea parte de este proceso para prevenir, para saber qué hacer en una situación. Uno nunca sabe cuándo puede ocurrir un terremoto, un desastre. Las brigadas blancas, eh, nuestros adultos mayores, no son entes aislados, definitivamente. Ellos tienen que articularse con el COE Barrial. Esto es una organización de la comunidad 
es una organización de las instituciones que brindan apoyo. Toda la comunidad se moviliza cuando hay una situación de emergencia, pero los adultos mayores tienen la cualidad de que nos dan su tiempo para capacitarse. Ellos ya están involucrados en el tema. El proyecto Brigadas Blancas para el Gobierno Autónomo Municipal de La Paz ha sido y es uno de los proyectos claves en, el, en la prevención del riesgo. Es una nueva cultura de prevención, algo que no teníamos. Estamos innovando. Nuestros adultos mayores son otros adultos mayores después de Brigadas Blancas. The White Brigades are given training on disaster risk prevention and emergency response. Being part of a network enables them to respond more effectively to the needs and requirements of the people affected by a disaster. Okay, so a short uh, introduction there. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Silvia Stefanoni is Director of Policy and Strategy at HelpAge. Uh, and uh, she'll be, I guess, formally uh, launching the HelpAge report that you have, but also uh, making a presentation now. Sylvia. 